Okay, so I'm fairly sure we all saw this video coming. Since it is the new year, I want to show you guys what loadouts I'm going to be using in TF2 this year. And one of my goals to try and accomplish and to try and do this year, like throughout the whole time, is basically try new classes that I don't normally play and try to use different loadouts for the classes I do play. So a lot of these loadouts might not be right because they're for classes I don't know about. So like NG, some of them might be a bit scuffed and Medic is essentially all scuffed i don't think i've got a single loadout right there so i'm going to be showing you guys these loadouts i'm going to be going over them fairly quickly and i'm going to be showing you what i'm working with really quickly if you're not already subscribed to my youtube channel i'd really appreciate it if you click the button if you go on to enjoy the video helps me out a lot and yeah i'd love to see how far we can push the youtube channel this year okay so starting off with scout we have the iconic spiky mikey loadout we have the scorching flames hong kong cone we have the mask we have you know, the flak jack, and then we just have the pretty basic scout loadout. So the Australian Scatagon, the Lugamorph, or just a regular pistol, and my Fire Glaze Holy Mackerel. So we've seen this one before. It is in pretty much every single one of my videos, so I'm not going to spend too long here. The next loadout is like my alternative scout loadout. So we have the Soda Popper, and we have like the Bleed set. So the Flying Guillotine and the Rap Assassin, because... That helps me build up hype with this. So then I don't always have to do all of the damage with that. I can actually just get the hype meter filling up with these things, which is really cool. And I'm using a Burning Flames Universal Translator here with the Maxis Severed Head and the same mask as last time. Moving on to my C loadout. This is, again, another one of those like alternative loadouts I want to try and use a little bit. So the shortstop, I have actually started really enjoying using it. So I've just made some weird loadout to see if that works with it. It might not, I might have to change this, but I like using the Mad Milk, it's really cool. And then the Fan of War isn't as bad as I used to think it was. It is quite funny in certain situations, so I want to try and use it just a little bit more in regular game. I also feel like this could be a little bit of an MVM loadout. Maybe I'd change the shortstop for something else, but the Mad Milk and Fan of War is pretty standard in MVM. And we're using the Burning Flames with the Hood of Arms and the Orbiton Fire Bonk Boy. Weirdly, both of these were given to me by the same person. And for the final scout loadout, we have... So this one's actually going to end up changing because these two are in a giveaway. Okay, so this loadout is basically going to be where I try and use the Babyface's Blaster. Because, yeah, it got changed quite a bit and it got nerfed fairly heavily. But I still quite like the weapon and it's still quite fun to use. So, again, I have the bleed set with it to try and gain all of the boost with this weapon without having to get all of the damage with it. Yeah, that's basically all of my scout loadouts covered. This one probably looks the best or a lot of people might think this one looks the best. But yeah, I'm happy with these ones. This is probably where everything makes the most sense. And now we're going to get onto everything where I'm just so confused. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the soldier, we have, again, the pretty standard loadout. We have the Scorcher Flames Hong Kong cone. We have the loadout that goes with it. And we have the regular rocket launcher, the gunboats, and the market gardener. Because I've been practicing market gardening a lot recently. Uh, I've been rocket jumping a little bit as well. I've actually been trying to use the panic attack with the soldier, which you'll see a little bit later. Yeah, this is just the standard loadout. This is what I'm going to be using a lot of the time, but I want to try and use other things as well. So moving over to the B loadout, this is just my rocket jumping loadout. So if I do want to just only practice market gardener, I could swap this man treads out for, you know, a, a shotgun or something like that to defend myself with, but this will be for when I'm like practicing market gardening or doing a rocket jumping map or something like that. So yeah, I, I, it's pretty standard. Any soldier main probably has a rocket jumping loadout, right? And on this loadout as well, I'm using the Burning Flames Translator, the Cuban Bristol Crisis and the Maxis Severed Head. Like these two always seem to go together. So you know what? I'm using it all the time. Okay, so onto the third loadout. This is going to be another little bit of an alternative loadout for me. I don't normally use stuff like this because I'm using the buff banner. Now, I never really use the buff banner ever. But when I did the soldier stash videos on all of these things, I actually really liked it. And, you know, stuff like the battalion's backup as well. I might swap two on this one as well. And, yeah, I don't know. I just I just quite liked it. I wanted to try something new. And I feel like using the direct hit with it as well just kind of makes this thing overpowered because you get the damage so quickly, I guess. That's if you can hit your shots with this. I'm also using the equalizer because I never use the equalizer. As you can see, this strange one has zero kills on it. And I feel like this loadout is probably going to be the best one to get kills with because if I'm ever low health and I have the buff banner popped for whatever reason, that is going to do a lot of damage. And finally, on the D loadout, we have the I want to live forever type of loadout, I guess. I don't know if this is like the best one I should really be using here, like the escape plan. But we have the black box. We have the conch. I might swap this to something like... 
the whip. I feel like a lot of people use the whip with the loadout like this one. But this is a, just a chance for me to use my Disco Beatdown Brotherhood of Arms, the Cuban Bristle Crisis again, and the Exquisite Rack. So this is just a really simple... I want to just live forever soldier loadout moving over to the pyro these loadouts are also kind of scuffed so yeah if anybody plays pyro quite a lot or like any of the classes that i get confused with please let me know what i should be using i really want to get good with all of the classes this year so i need good loadouts so this one is like the old like what was it puff and sting loadout i guess so you've got the degreaser you have the flag in and you have the extinguisher i know it probably isn't like the same as it used to be but i feel like this loadout will still work fairly well and I'm also using the Universal Translator, the Firetooth, and of course, the Max's Head. Moving over to the second loadout, we have the Backburner, the Thermal Thruster, and the Power Jack. So the Power Jack's basically just there for movement. So is the Thermal Thruster, because I want to try and get behind people. And then the Backburner is because I, I want to get behind people, so may as well be doing, like, crit. This loadout also has my Scorching Flames Hong Kong on it. Uh, we have the Pyromancer's Mask and the Sengoku Scorcher. Probably one of my favorite, like, pyro shirts. Moving on to the C loadout, we have the Flog. We have the Panic Attack and we have the Maul. Like, this is just... I, I want to say this is a Pyro loadout, kind of. This is my loadout for, like, I really want to just annoy people. I feel like he's wearing the grey bands. Not straight on his face, but I think that looks quite cool. Uh, he's got the antlers and, the again... The Disco Beatdown Brotherhood of Arms, but kind of looks like he's got Disco Beatdown Antlers. And finally, we have this loadout, which is, again, just kind of thrown together a bunch of stuff. So I'm using two of the Jungle Inferno items, so the Dragon's Fury and the Gas Passer. But because you're going to be setting people on fire a lot with that, I just thought I'll use the Extinguisher and that would be pretty much it. Next up, we have the Demo Man, and I feel like my loadouts for the demo is quite good. Obviously, some people might have a preference in Sword when we get into that loadout in a little bit. But either way, I feel like these loadouts are quite good. So this is the really standard one. You've just got the regular grenade launcher, the regular sticky bomb launcher, and just a pan. Yeah, the fairly standard loadout there. I'm obviously also using my Scorcher Flames Hong Kong Cone, a Handsome Devil, and the Dynamite Abs. Pretty cool looking loadout there. I think I have a strange handsome devil that I might swap to. But next up, we have my demo knight loadout, which has the universal translator, the Maxi Severed Head, and again, the handsome devil. I quite like it on the demo man for some reason. I don't really use it too much on any other class. But we have the Alibaba Wee Booties, we have the Splendid Screen, and we have the Head Taker. So I quite like using this loadout. I actually have a lot of fun playing Demo Knight on some maps. Okay, so I was never really interested in playing Hybrid Knight pretty much ever. But I made myself a Hybrid Knight loadout because I've been doing it a little bit more. And I've actually been having quite a lot of fun. So I'm using the Tide Turner. I have a Specialized Killstreak one. Uh, and then I'm using the Iron Bomber and the Claydenham more. I... Yeah, I've scuffed that up. Like, I don't know what the best, like, hybrid knight sword is. I think I saw Solar Light do that once, so I just kind of copied. But yeah, I also like using the Iron Bomber. Sometimes I might even swap to the Iron Bomber on this loadout because it's a fun weapon to use, and having it on the hybrid knight loadout is also kind of cool. And then finally, again, this loadout's kind of just thrown together because I only really need the first three loadouts, but I wanted to have a loadout on every single slot, so... I'm using the lock and load here. I've got the quickie bomb launcher and the pain train because these are just weapons I never really use. So throw them all together. I might have a pretty interesting load out there. Moving on to heavy. I don't know a lot about heavy. I I kind of just use the Tommy Slav and the Sandvich and that's pretty much all I do. Like this load out for me is the only way I'm pretty much ever going to play heavy. But this year, you know, I want to learn a little bit about it. So I'll be swapping this up a little bit. So obviously, like I said, I have the Tommy Slav. I have the Sandvich. I'm using the Gloves of Running Urgently as well. Because I see a lot of heavy players using this. So I just kind of am going with the crowd here. Moving on to the B loadout. I have the one that's just going to really annoy scouts. Because it's got no Natasha on it. I hate it when heavies use the Natasha. So I'm going to get some revenge a little bit, I feel like, with this loadout. And I'm using the second Banana. Because I don't want to just use the sandwich on every single one of them. And I'm using the killing gloves of boxing there. Because I don't just want to use the gloves of running urgently on all of my loadouts. So this one, I'm meant to have a purity fist on it. To make it like all a robot and stuff. Uh, but here we just have the regular minigun. The regular sandwich. And the fist of steel. Just purely to go with the fact that that's meant to be a robot. Yeah, I'm not really sure either. And then moving on to my D loadout. I have the brass beast. A festive sandwich. And the gloves are running urgently again because he's dressed up. He's ready for bed. He doesn't want to be doing much. He doesn't want to be moving that much at all. So the brass beast, you don't really, you can't really move while using that. So he could just fall asleep. That's great. Perfect. 
Okay, so moving on to NG, this is the pretty standard version of an NG loadout, I guess. You've got the Wrangler, you've got the Panic Attack, or the Shotgun, or whatever, and then you've just got the regular Wrench. So, this is how I'm going to be trying to learn NG to start with, I feel like. Then we have, like, a more aggressive NG here. So, the Frontier Justice, the Short Circuit, and the Gunslinger. Now, this probably... I think this one's going to be my favorite. I might also swap that to the Widowmaker at some point. I'm not really sure. Or I might swap that to a pistol to do even more damage. But I want to learn how to use certain NG weapons. Because I never, ever play Engineer. So I'm righting my wrongs and I'm learning. Okay, chat, I'm learning. This one, I, I, I was running out of cosmetics that looked really good. But I basically made the Widowmaker, uh, the regular pistol. And for some reason, I've got the Eureka effect. Because in my mind, I'm thinking I just throw a teleporter down. Go and kill a bunch of people with this. And if it gets too bad, I just go back to the teleporter. I don't know if that would work, but I kind of want to try it. So while I'm learning, that's that loadout. That probably needs changing. But either way, not too bad. And then the final loadout for NG is the Rescue Ranger, the Short Circuit, and the Jag. I still don't know anything about NG from the two minutes ago that I started talking about him. So that loadout could be absolute rubbish. So please tell me. I want to get good at NG. And I want to know what loadouts I should be using. So if all of my NG loadouts are wrong, please tell me and tell me what I should be using instead. Moving on to the medic. This is where it's going to get so scuffed. And I'm so sorry to every medic main who watches me like this. Just I'm going to upset you a little bit here, I feel like. So we have the standard Crusaders crossbow. We have the regular medic gun here. And we have the festive Ubersaw. So, so far, that's great. This next loadout, I still don't know if it's right or not. Um, it's meant to it's meant to be sort of like a more aggressive Medic, I assume, but it's a Blood Saga, and I don't like using the Blood Saga. But then I also still have the Crits Krieg and the Ubersaw because I feel like you can't have a Medic loadout without really using the Ubersaw. Like you're wasting a weapon slot there. This loadout is a little bit odd. Um, I'm using the Vaccinator, but the same two other weapons. So my creativity for Medic is like bottom tier. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. And then the final loadout is just a quick fix with the same two items. So. Yeah, I kind of want to mix it up a little bit, but I also don't feel like I need to. Yeah, I don't know. This one's like I've got a skin on it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I never play Medic, so I don't know how often this loadout will get used. I still want to learn, but I just don't know how much I'm going to use this loadout. Okay, so for the Sniper, this is actually my main loadout. I actually used the Universal Translator and the Max's Head over my Hong Kong cone for Sniper. Don't know why. I just really like the way this loadout looks, but I just have my regular... Australian killstreak sniper rifle. Uh, I have a Jurati and the Bushwhacker here because, you know, that's that's been my favorite since TF Connect. I always used to use like an SMG and something else there, but since I played TF Connect and I could just use whatever weapon I wanted, I, I've started using this because I could defend myself more. Moving on to the next loadout, we have a Huntsman loadout. So I've got the Cozy Camper because it's just quite nice to use that. And then I have the Travelman's Shiv because most of the time, I'm just going to be using the Huntsman, but making people bleed is quite nice. Okay, so moving on to my third sniper loadout, we finally see the Scorcher Flames Hong Kong cone with the Grey Bands and the Bruises Bandana, both painted Team Spirit. Uh, here, I'm using the Shooting Star, or basically the Machina, because, again, I want to mix up what weapons I'm using this year. Like, it's so boring doing the same thing over and over again, and I'm sure you guys are bored of watching me do the same thing over and over again. So, yeah, we're using the Shooting Star. I also have the SMG here, because... You know, if I can't aim at close with this thing, I have that to back me up. And I have this Shahan Shaha. I don't know if I said that right, but it's also Specialized Kill Street, which is kind of cool. It's a, it's a really nice weapon. And that's Battle Scarred. But it actually looks quite good. And then for the final loadout, we have the Hitman's Heatmaker in Strange, which is quite cool. We have the Cleaner's Carbine, again, which is also fairly cool. So this is like the Hitman loadout. I think they both actually did come from a hitman game i have no idea though don't quote me on that but basically i'm also using the bushwhacker with this because if i shoot somebody with the heat maker kill them with that this gets crits for eight seconds or is it six seconds it's eight seconds so this crits whenever it would normally mini crit and when you get a kill with the cleanest carbine you get mini crits for eight seconds so that is going to be crits for eight seconds so that's going to be a dangerous loadout and finally, moving on to Spy, we have the Universal Translator, obviously, with the Max's Severed Head and the Handsome Devil. Um, I've just kind of tried to make the Spy look as weird as possible, but I'm using the Diamondback, the regular knife, and the regular Invis Watch. I don't know much about Spy, so again, I'm going to need help on the loadouts for this one. 
please let me know in the comments what I should be using. Next, we have just the regular revolver. We have the Spicicle and the Dead Ringer because that combo used to be really good. Maybe I should put the diamond back with that as well. But I quite like the regular revolver too. And I got given this really cool skin for it. But here I'm trying to use the ambassador. I'm trying to use the Your Eternal Reward and the Cloak and Dagger. So that those two are like the main items there. So I'm using that to try and get a good opportunity to use this. And then the ambassador's there just in case. I, I preferred the old ambassador. Like where you could just like headshot from all over the place. Because, you know, I was actually sort of decent at that. But now they've changed it, so I don't know how good it is. And then the final loadout is my Disco Beat Down Brotherhood of Arms, a Bruiser's Bandana, and the Grey Bands. Like, the Spy's trying to go even more undercover for some reason. And then he's also using the Enforcer, the Kunai, and the Cloak and Dagger. Again, don't really know what I'm doing, but I feel like the Kunai, you need to wait and get, like, one stab, and then you're kind of started. So the Cloak and Dagger is there to just help that. And I heard the Enforcer's a really good pistol, so I'm going with that. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please let me know what I could be doing better with my loadouts, especially on the classes that I have no idea what I'm doing on. I'd really appreciate that. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you go ahead and leave it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. It would mean a lot to me and there's a lot of good content coming out this year. You are not going to want to miss any of it. But yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching once again and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.